Diane in Denmark here. Okay, I've got something a bit different for you today. Uh, I've got my bag here, and if you've seen this bag before, you'll know that that means I am off for a skinny dip. Uh, today I am skinny dipping with Vibica. Um, and you, I'm going to be taking you with me. Don't, don't worry, you're, you're not going to be skinny dipping. Don't worry about that. But I will be taking you on my bike. This is my bike. You've seen it before with a little uh, pink flower. Anyway, what you will see, I'll try and put some videos together. What you will see is the rides that we take when we're riding through the village here and down to the sea. So hopefully it will give you a breath of fresh air. If you are at home and you're using the treadmill, maybe you want to do it with uh, you know, a Danish scenery in the background, or maybe if you are working at the office and need a little break while you're doing your filing, a breath of fresh air, come and join me. Okay, I'm gonna run the video. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, let's just have some fun out there. Let's not take things too seriously. So Diane in Denmark saying, live long and prosper. Oh, live long and prosper. Uh, may the Danish hood be with you. And remember your, your bike helmet when you're going uh, on your bike. Remember, safety first. Okay, let's roll that video. Right, and what I'm going to do from here is give you a little voiceover because, as always, uh, Vibic and I were chatting on our bike ride this morning and some of it was private, so I've, I've taken off the other uh, audio and I'll give you a little voiceover, but that also gives me the chance to tell you oh, a bit of information while we are on our merry way. Uh, you'll notice it's very quiet. Uh, shops in Denmark don't generally open until 10 o'clock in the morning, and this is early morning. Uh, also supermarkets they don't generally open until nine in the morning but of course the bakers will be open so if you can see people wandering about on the street they've probably been out buying some lovely Danish uh, Wiener Bolt, some Danish pastries but um, I always have to kind of put my blinkers on and say no I'm not gonna not gonna buy any not gonna buy any and we are cycling up the hill and I know it's not much of a hill uh, but you know Denmark's very flat uh, and if when we come to this crossroads you can uh, turn right uh, as you come out of the village and that will take you to our local train station that's the, the train station where I get the train into Copenhagen and the train generally takes it takes something like uh, 13 minutes to be right into the centre of the city and um, the, the main station in the centre of the city is called Nurport. If you've ever been to Denmark you'll know Nurport is the is the main station where everything connects you know the metro and the underground uh, and regional trains. Anyway we are heading up where we're just heading slightly up here uh, and then it'll be downhill from 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 there and we're up on top of the railway bridge. So that's what we're crossing. And if I had a fancy camera, I would be able to, maybe I should attach one to my head. I could kind of look left and right and you could see the, the, the trains underneath. Uh, well, the train runs every um, 10 or 20 minutes into town, depending on the day. Anyway, now we're coming downhill. And if you look straight ahead, that is a castle. We've got lots of little castles in Denmark. They're all over the place more castles than you can shake a, a feather duster on a stick at and the castle that you can see in front of you uh, it's no longer used as a castle it was actually used um, as an administration building for the I think it was the military at one point but anyway it must have, it, it, the, the castle if you go up to the castle and stand on the other side of the castle you will see right down to the water so it's a beautiful view anyway that's us on the bike path Vibica is just on my left. You can't see her, but the bike path is big enough for both of us. 
and that's why we can chat all the way and then we're going to swing slightly round here we go And you can see you can see here everything is beautifully clean um, in Denmark. There's no there's no litter on the side of the roads, not generally anyway. Most people are are good about taking litter home with them, or at least putting it in a bin. And um, round on this road, if you turn off to the left, you might see some cars turning off to the left. There is um, a trotting, you know, for horses, a trotting, what do you call it? Oh, I can't even remember what it's called, called in English. In, in Danish it's called Traubeine, you know, where they sit like in the little chariots <laughs> with the jockey on the back. And if you're wondering what I'm doing just now, I'm hanging up laundry while I make this. So I hope you're folding laundry. Anyway, that's down to the, to the trotting um, place on the left and from now on we are straight ahead that is the North Sea you can see in front of you the Danish North Sea and on the left hand side of the road there is a ch oh there's uh, you can just see a wee bit of uh, Vibika's bike basket in her swimming bag uh, on the left hand side of the road there is um, it's called a Skolburnahel which is a, an outdoors nursery for kids where the kids are in the forest all day long and it's quite cute when we see them in the morning and um, coming in on a bus from the centre of Copenhagen and they come out here and they spend all day in in the forest all day long you can just see it there on the left nice old building and here we are so this is the view that we see when we are on our way down in the morning for our, our skinny dip it's absolutely beautiful and some days you know the sun will be coming up or it will be foggy or it will be sunny but every day is is so different and it's really fantastic to get out and get some fresh air yeah bikes are a great way to get around Denmark and if you ever come to visit Denmark um certainly you know try try and see a bit by bike there are plenty of free bikes in the center of town here we are Oh, and there's a bus going along in front of us. So when, when you get to this part, we are on to Strandvayen, which is the coastal route uh, and the start of the whiskey belt, because this is the area where people can afford <laughs> to drink whiskey. And we're turning off right here and to the right and down. There we go. Whoop, careful not to fall off. There's the sea in front of you. And there is the bathing club which you have seen, if, you, if you're following me on Instagram, you have seen the bathing club, you know, so many times you've seen us um, skinny dipping when it's icy, when it's sunny, all year round, every day or every other day. And we're, and just th think, uh, two days ago there was snow here, but luckily we seem to be back onto the, the spring weather. Spring weather, full steam ahead, please. Here we are, and then we'll just park our bikes in front. And actually, it was very warm this morning, and the sea temperature has actually gone up to 2C, which I believe is about 37F. So that was actually uh, <laughs> quite warm for us. Uh, and the air temperature was about 10 C. I can't remember what that is in Fahrenheit. You'll need to Google it, but it, it actually felt like a spring day today. Anyway, I'm just going to lock my bike and take off my helmet and um, I'll give you a few wee pictures at the end of us having our skinny dip. But don't worry, we're, we're decent. We've always got our towels with us. Look at that view. Isn't it fantastic? <gasps> ah, it's definitely the, the best start to the... And, and also, you know what? I, I don't need jewels and furs and fancy cars. And, you know, if I'm close to the water, that, that is my luxury. Time with my friends and the water, and that is all I need. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the little video, and uh, see you very soon. And we're just going to warm up with our tea, hot tea and biscuits. See you soon. <laughs>